and very warm welcome to Raflims. This is Farooq Hussain and today we are going to start a new series on Koha operational and administrative skills. In this series, we will learn about the basic and advanced configurations of different modules of Koha. For example, circulation system, patterns management, cataloging and metadata management, acquisition and budgeting, report buildings, interface designing, mark or rda data conversion and migration advanced operations and administration for example backup procedures tools ldf functionalities reminders and many more so if you are a koha librarian or a koha user or you want to learn more about koha this is the most effective and the useful series for you so i would recommend to regularly watch our videos so you will learn more about Koha operation and administration. To start working, you just need to open your web browser and you need to write the Koha manual in uh, your web browser and the version. Koha manual is one of the best and the recommended document to read more about Koha operations and administration. So there you will find each and every answer of your query about the Koha operations and administration and also the installation process. So there you can see the Koha basic, you will find the Koha installation process and you will see the web installer onboarding tool that we have already discussed. The global system preferences, something like the advanced administration of Koha. It's mainly relate with the templates and the administration in the administration we will work on basic parameters patterns and circulation today we are going to work on basic parameters and the patterns and circulation so you will see the tools patterns circulations cataloging course uh, reserve serials acquisition list and card reports or packs Searching, plugging about Koha, I mean interlibrary loan, implementation checklist, and the many more. So you will, I mean, this is one of the rich document. So let's start. Today we will work on Koha administration. And in Koha administration, we are going to cover the basic parameters and the patterns and circulation. So if you want to work on Koha and the Koha is not installed at your computer system, you can use the Koha demo site. Koha demo is actually uh, provided by different vendors around the world and they actually work, uh, uh, they're actually providing consultancy service, paid consultancy services to their client and they also provide the demo site for their practices. So. And this is all, I mean, this is for general public as well. So you can work on Koha demo. You can just write to Koha demo on your web browser and you will reach to this site. Alternatively, you can visit uh, the Koha community site and you will find this Koha demo versions. So you can see, but they remember, the demo version is only for practices. After every seven days, they actually remove the data and they recycle the uh, uh, same, uh, uh, I mean, the uh, demo system. So there you can see the providers from Switzerland. This is from France. This is from USA, the Australia, the New Zealand, and USA again, the Norway, France, Spain, and France. So you can check the mark flavor is mark 21 and the version is koha version is 19.11 the latest one the opaque link the staff interface link and the password for the staff interface as well i mean the login and the password for the staff interface so this is uh, this system is for unimark and this is the, some old version so just click on this i'm going to open this in the new tab And there you need to provide this staff login and password. For example, demo and demo. The username is demo and the password demo as giving on this site, demo demo. 
we just log in this Koha administration staff module I mean the staff client and there you can see you are actually super librarian right now and you have access to all the ma uh, modules of Koha for example circulation cataloging patterns serial advanced search acquisition list reports course reserve tools administration about Koha and authorities so we are just going to configure the basic parameters in Koha administration when you first log in to Koha administration you first have to set the basic parameters and you have to work on Koha administration there you have to work on uh, you have to set your library or the branches or the libraries you have you have to add them then you have to add the library group then you have to add item types whatever you hold in your library for example you have collection of books you have collections of serial you have collections of um, dvds so you will add as a category and then authorized value is something like shelving location is something like a, a, a lost value is something like a collection code so you will add all them and then you have to work on patterns category you have to add the category of your member either the students either the faculty member or either the staff member you have to add the category and then you have to define the circulation and fine rules so all these are important and you can read more about in the koha manual so you can click on the basic parameters and you will read each and everything in this manual for example how you can add a library so you will find the complete details here let me demonstrate you them i mean let me demonstrate the uh, the important one so to add a library you just click on libraries and there are lots of people around the world world who are practicing on this demo site as you can see let me add one library i just click on new library and then you have to provide the code of your library for example raflims this is one default code i mean this is one sample code and just adding ref limbs youtube uh, just an example and you can write these complete address of your library and let me write the street address it's <clears throat> Gulshan Iqbal and write the city then the state remember the red one are mandatory fields and the rest of the fields are actually optional but you will write them to complete for complete details and country is pakistan phone number fax number email address and the reply to email address and the url just let me write my yes Colin. dot <clears throat> com e for channel and okay I just write as an example there's no website I mean there's no like a uh, library like this this is actually my youtube channel so i just write as an example so you just submit this and you have add one library the add it here I have added you have add one library and remember if you want to add it this 
you cannot change the library code you can change the library name but you cannot change the library code the entire information you can change but library code is not uh, i mean it's unchangeable you cannot change that unless you delete this library and add once again but if you have entered a pattern or if you have entered an item with this library so first you have to remove this that item and the patterns and then you can remove this library so this way you can add many libraries i mean multiple libraries like this there's no limit to add libraries in Koha. So, and uh, in administration, again, we will come to the second thing, the library group. Library group, as I said, is one of the parent organization. For example, let me add one parent organization. It's uh, just an example. <coughs> it's the University of Koachi. Maybe I have already added this. The <coughs> University of Kawachi and limit patterns data access by group. Use for opaque search group. Use for opaque search group. Yes. Staff search group. And I will clip all of them and see. So it's saying a group with this title is already accessed. Okay, let me add another group. Uh, uh, okay. Just an example. <clears throat> you will see this is what I have added here. And in this group, I'm going to add, you can add a subgroup as well. And I'm going to add the library. Add this library. And so it has added there. Maybe someone also practiced. Anyway, add it here. Let me add. Library group <coughs> has added also. You can see has three libraries. This group has three libraries, and we can remove from the group as well. After the library groups, we will add the item types. I mean, we will define the categories of your item, for example whatever you have in your library uh, for example you hold books you have computer files you have map these are the value and you will receive these value by default as a sample data so you can add them and you can actually delete them if you don't need them for example i don't need computer files so i will delete this i mean uh, my library has no computer file just an example so let me delete this and I don't have the maps right now, so let me delete the map. But remember, if the category is in use, you cannot delete that. So, like this. So, I just actually add one more category. I mean, the item types here. For example, I'm going to work on rare book collection. Let me add rare book collection. This is the code and the pair book. Just an rare books or rare book or whatever you want. Just select the image from the crystal clear or vocal or color. If you are a school librarian, you can define item types by color. Bridge is one of my favorite, and you can use this and npl and uh, the libline and remote image if the image your required image is not available here 
or you want to set some other logo or icon so you can add the address of that particular image here and it will remote actually so i just add this one just an example as a rear book for example this is just an example let me add this icon and then if the material is for loan or not just click here uh, for example it's this material i mean the rare book collection is not for loan if you're working in a library or public library and you are issuing this material then you have to write the rental cost cost i mean rental charges daily rental charges and the hourly rental charges is up to your policy and the default replacement cost you can mention here the processing fee when lost for example you will charge 10 percent more this is just an example charge rent and this item is for all libraries or some particular libraries for example this one not for all libraries you can add a summary if you know some html code and then save this so i have saved one item it's rbc i mean the rare book so this way you can add the item types and i want to add one more items for example i have the collection of ebooks and i want to that add in my koha system so ebook just an example i'll show you how we can add ebooks in other video so this is a category for ebook item types for ebooks and i'll go to bridge this is one of my favorite and i will select ebook from here and then and then save it so i have add one more category for ebooks right now then in administration after the item types we will work on authorized value authorized value is something very important for the c code c code is actually the collection code or you can add the country as well use in unimark this is for unimark and the damage value you can add here and lots of i mean uh, uh, authorized values available but mainly we use for i actually use this for election code and i use this for this is actually shelving location language code and the lost item i can add lost item here so let me show you one for example you have received a donation from some person and you want to create some corner so you will go to c code i mean the collection code and you can add for example one by default you will see the fiction non-fiction and the reference so let me add one c code i mean the collection code the authorized value will be something like uh, for Roch or I add actually apostrophe. Authorized value is something like FC. This is code and the for collection. Or if there's some specific a specific collection for example plummet collection you can write like this and you want to show this in opaque so you will write this and is this for all libraries or is this is for some limited library for example this is limited at some library but i want to show at all libraries and then you can add picture i mean icon if you want to add icon i mean the image if you want to 
not going to select any picture right now and just save so i have adds one c code collection code this is actually Farooq islamic collection the islamic whatever i'm not an islamic scholar but this is just an example so and the authorized value let uh, we have already added one authorized value for c code and in authorized value for example you have different shelving locations for example you have one location is is in av room you have one location is in some corner you have one location in in the new arrival and the display books so how you mention in opac so you just go to loc i mean the shelving locations and you can add one shelving location new authorized value for shelving location i mean the loc is actually for shelving just click here by default you can see let me show you before i go to that by default you will see they have card this is not english actually but let me show card and this is for child and the display for new arrivals of fictions journal collection i mean, I mean this is for magazine the new arrivals staff the people have also added here like this one not default value so let me add one for example i have a corner or i have a one shelving location is for librarian desk just an example so, there are some books on library text. And this will be not limited. Let me limit this, or you can limit with some library okay i have add one shelving location so shelving location is actually librarian desk or you can add any i mean if you want to and this will be display i mean this will come on your opaque actually uh, you will uh, the output will become on your opaque and i'll show you how you will show is actually on your back so now back to our topic after the auth uh, and one more thing an authorized value the lost value or you can add the district status of an item i mean you can read more about in this manual <clears throat> another thing when you go to mark the status of some particular lost book for example the book is lost and the book is misplaced or the make book is lost by some uh, uh, student so you can see i have defined this lost and there i have defined this misplaced can write any other value for the same thing and similar you can add new values i mean the authorized values for lost let me add one uh, just an example i just write uh, five the code and on back like this add image as well and this is for the all libraries so i have add this value withdrawn or you can add any value 
related to the loss actually can define battery uh, items let's come to the administration and in administration the next thing is the patterns and circulation in patterns and circulation we have to define the patterns category to maintain the membership of our library user so pattern category just go to pattern category and you can see there are lots of pattern categories are already available and there are lots of people around the world who i mean practicing on koha demo site so just add a new category here just going to add new category here for faculty members fac code can write any code for example faculty members fm or whatever you suit to you right but you have to remember the code faculty member or just suppose you are in a school library so you will write like this for your students example class 1 a class 1 a write the class 1 a and if you have some sections i mean like a b right class 1 b or i mean one sample category faculty member faculty They enrolled for 12 months at more or you can write their data as well this right to 12 months <clears throat> the age will start from 18 to 65 i think i don't know this is just an example 65 if your library charge some enrollment fee you can add or if there's no fee then it go overdue notice required yes required and loss item in a staff client yes show them hold fees if they hold some item would you charge something or not up to you category type you have to select the category for example professionals faculty members are professional and they will be accessed all libraries of your just an example the password reset in OPAC in OPAC in Koha OPAC a user can log in in the Koha OPAC and can find what he or she has issued from the library and he or she can check their search history and their lost item history and the history of their uh, fine whatever the fine so would you allow that particular patterns to reset password yes allowed and to change password in a back yes allowed block expire pattern yes block them the Privacy will be default or not? Yes. I have added one category here faculty members. See where it is. Here it is. Faculty. They are professionals. 12 months. 12 months. I have added one category. And you can add, for example, your working. To school library and you want to add the class 1 C student for example 1 A student just write like this class 1 A and enrolled for 12 months 1 year age will be like 3 just an example i don't know right what do you know this for child whole fee 
and they are actually filed. So we have add one more category for the class. So if you have multiple classes, you can add like this. And if you have, so it's up to you. So if you have multiple classes, so you can add like this. If you have a general category of students, you can add like this. And the faculty member like this, or the staff member, similar way so this way we add categories actually in administration i mean the patterns category and now we are going to define a circulation and fine rule so you can see there's no circulation and fine rules defined by anyone let me do that so standard rules for all libraries or for some specific library. Let me define this for this library. And this is not for all the people. This is for students only. And the item type will be the book. And then checkout allowed. Let me allow them six book at a time. It's up to your policy. And the loan period would be 14 days, not in hours, working in days. Hard due date, it would be the before or let it leave this as default. In case of late return, how many fine, I mean, what amount of fine you will charge. Example, 5 rupees per day or per week. If you're charging per day, you will write one here in fine interval, fine charging interval. Or if you're charging after every seven days, you will write seven. And it's up to your library. Usually in libraries, we follow after one day. And then when to charge end of the interval, of course, fine grace period. You can provide some grace period. I'm not going to do that. Or do you find cap amount, cap fine amount? Let's leave them as it is. Automatic, I mean, renewal period. How many times they can renew? For example, renewal allowed count. How many times they can renew? For example, one time. At one time, they will borrow the material, and after that, they can renew for seven days. This is just an example. And leave them like give this. So we have add one rule here, and you can add multiple rules, and you can add for standard rules for all library for all patterns, category, all items. So you can add as per your policy. So this is what I did actually. I add one rule and you can see the more you can find the more details in Koha manual. How you can add, I mean, circulation and find rule. To learn more about this in this manual okay <clears throat> okay after circulation and fine rules we will work on the item circulation alert for example you are sitting on landing counter i mean you uh, you're performing lending counter duties and by mistake you're going to issue some reference book then the system will alert you that this is actually a reference book so there you need to disable that item for example i'm going to disable rare book here 
just click here and it will disable for all the categories of patterns to check out now nobody can borrow the rear books for example this is audiovisual materials and similar for tekken someone may come to return some audiovisual material and you will alert that this item is not actually check out this that's all so in administration we have talked about how we can set a library or libraries and library groups we have talked about the item types we have talked about the authorized values and the pattern categories and circulation and fine rules so these all are important and you can practice them by reading the koha manual and uh, but at the initial level i mean at the basic parameters they are not so important but you have to practice them by reading the koha manual and in the next video we will talk about the mark bibliographic how we can add a fast cataloging framework how we can add it the default framework and we will also talk how we can add the rda framework with this cataloging and we will talk about the classification sources we will talk about the author authority types and we will talk about the acquisition parameters we will talk about the additional don't miss and stay with us um, thank you very much for watching raflims and i will request you people to kindly join us that's actually encourage us to work hard so um, thank you very much you are watching raflims this is for rohan thank you